today I'll be talking about Lemon Tree Hotels, which has recently seen a turnaround underpinned by improving fortunes of the hotel industry. The company is the largest hotel chain in the mid-price hotel industry with close to 8,350 rooms in 87 hotels across 53 destinations. The company had turned profitable in FY18 but went into losses on the back of COVID lockdowns. Low average room rates, low revenue per available room and low occupancy levels against a high fixed cost turned the hotel chain into losses. However, with stabilization of hotels launched before the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic, greater demand from leisure, festive and wedding season and a gradual pickup in business travel, the company has registered high occupancy levels, high average room rates and high revenue per available room. This continued demand has brought the hotel chain back to profits in the current fiscal. A consistent improvement in profitability will drive cash flows and strengthen the balance sheet and the return profile in the coming years. Lemon Tree has historically enjoyed a negative working capital and debt to equity is expected to remain stable. With a robust expansion plan focusing on asset light model and industry tailwinds, Lemon Tree Hotels is on a war footing to achieve robust revenue and EBITDA growth by FY24 and FY25. The stock is corrected by 24% from the recent highs and trades at 24 times FY25 estimated earnings based on the current market price of Rs 77.85. On the charts, the stock has just reacted from a quarterly demand zone of Rs 71 to Rs 46. Investors with a long-term investment horizon should keep the stock on their radar. So let's look at some of the details of the company. Lemon Tree Hotels Limited is India's largest hotel chain in the mid-price hotel sector and the third largest overall. It operates in the upscale segment and also caters to the mid-market sector consisting of the upper mid-scale, mid-scale and economy segments that have differentiated yet superior service offerings with a value for money proposition. Lemon Tree Hotels currently operates close to 8,350 rooms in 87 hotels across 53 destinations. When the current pipeline becomes operational by CY 2024-25, close to 11,350 rooms in 124 hotels across 79 destinations will adorn its portfolio. The group offers seven brands to meet guests' needs across all levels, namely Orica Hotels and Resorts, Lemon Tree Premier, Lemon Tree Hotels, Red Fox Hotels, Keys Prima Hotels, Keys Select Hotels, and Keys Light Hotels. The company is also expanding internationally with new hotels all set to open in Bhutan and Nepal. Lemon Tree has one of the best in class performance metrics with strong location advantage, distribution, and branding, which has led to industry leading occupancy levels. The company is driving operating leverage with high occupancy levels and cost controls. The average room rate hikes have improved its EBITDA margin. Further, the company has lower development costs and time than its peers. Lemon Tree same store hotels have recovered faster than the industry in Q3 FY23 versus Q3 of FY20, that is pre COVID, on the back of Lemon Tree hotels' gross average room rate higher by 21% against the industry's increase of 11%, revenue per available room higher by 18% against industry rise of 2%. The company witnessed a lower decline of 3% in occupancy in Q3 of FY23 versus Q3 of FY20, that is pre-COVID again, against the industry decline of 8%. The company has multiple levers in place to drive growth in the coming quarters. These include opening up Orica, Mumbai International Airport in October 2023, accelerated growth in management and franchise portfolio with a proportionate increase in fee-based income more improvement in cross average room rates and occupancy for the Lemon Tree Hotel portfolio and significant improvement in cross average room rates and occupancy in the Keys Hotel portfolio post renovations. On the back of these drivers, the company expects to achieve a major improvement in performance in FY25 with 30% year-on-year revenue growth, higher margins and 72% growth in profit after tax compared to FY23. Additionally, it has a strong pipeline of room inventory, all of which will be operational by FY25. Lemonry Hotels is planning to invest Rs 30 crores over the next two years to uplift the key hotels, which are currently facing some new demand. 
post the hit taken by the industry on the back of Omicron wave, the hotel industry saw a healthy recovery. It was further aided by leisure, festive and wedding season and gradual pickup in business travel. With demand for room expected to be higher than the supply, the average room rates is estimated to remain high in the coming years. With a robust expansion plan focusing on an asset-like model and industry tailwinds, Lemetry is on a war footing to achieve robust revenue and EBITDA growth by FY24 and FY25. The revenue growth will be aided by strong occupancy, average room rates and a change in pricing strategy. Further, improving revenue per available room, occupancies and cost-cutting initiatives are expected to lead to expansion in margins. A consistent improvement in profitability will drive cash flows and strengthen the balance sheet and return profile in the coming years. Lemetry has historically enjoyed a negative working capital and debt to equity is expected to remain stable. The stock has corrected by 24% from recent highs and trades at 24 times FY25 estimated earnings by analysts based on the current market price of Rs. 77.85. On the charts, the stock has just reacted from a quarterly demand zone of Rs. 71 to Rs. 46. Investors with a long-term horizon should keep the stock on their radar. This is Veeraj Shah signing off. Happy investing. This should not be treated as a recommendation. Please conduct your own analysis or consult a financial advisor before investing. Thank you.